to say is your kidney is definitely going to get very cold in this outfit. <laughs> Considering this is a remake of a dress that was probably worth thousands of pounds, I feel like this is pretty good. I need to wear this outfit somewhere because it literally looks exactly like the original. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. For today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, we have an exciting video. Today's video is all about trying and testing out Kim Kardashian's clothing remakes. If you guys haven't seen my previous video last week, I've actually already done a video like this last week but about Kylie's clothing. And today we're gonna be testing out Kim's clothing inspired by plenty of designer outfits that she has worn on her Instagram. I mean, I'm sure you guys already know this, but the Kardashian and Jennifer family are very influential when it comes to fashion. They're kind of like fashion icons of this day and age. And I feel like a lot of the fashion retailers out there definitely kind of take inspiration from their fashion and the designers that they wear. And a lot of those shops actually take it to a whole new level. Rather than just being inspired, they literally copy the whole outfit down to a T. So today I'm going to be trying out some of those remakes from AliExpress. And I'm really excited because last time I did this video, I was actually really pleasantly surprised. All of the items of clothing were so affordable but they were actually really decent quality and they looked just like the photos. So for this video I picked out a few of the outfits from the website that are quite famous obviously because Kim K has worn them. So today we're gonna find out what they're about and see if they're worth the money. If you guys are brand new here you guys haven't seen my face before. Hi I'm Roxy welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around and make sure you guys subscribe down below. Also I just want to say I have a very exciting announcement coming on the 29th which I'm really really excited to share with you guys. It was actually something that was meant to come out earlier on this month on the 13th, but because of COVID, it has been pushed back till the 29th. So all I'm saying is just keep an eye out. Something big is coming. But anyways, without further rambling, let's get on into the video. All right, guys. So the very first outfit, I am so excited to try on and just see if it will be like the original. This is the photo of Kim Kardashian wearing this first outfit. And as you guys can see, it's kind of like a matching two piece by Fendi. It's black and white, which is a little bit different because Fendi's colors are usually like this, kind of like the Louis Vuitton ones. But nonetheless, I really, really like this set. And obviously it's a little bit out there. Obviously I probably wouldn't have an occasion to wear something like this because I'm not a celebrity. But I really wanted to try it out because I saw that AliExpress had like a remake of it and it was actually a little bit on the pricey side. So the remake of this outfit was actually $50 and here it is. It is actually pretty impressive. So here we have the crop top, which I think looks absolutely iconic. Obviously the pattern is similar, but not exactly the same because obviously they can't copyright like the Fendi pattern. They probably would get in a lot of trouble if they did. So they've kind of just done like this sort of print. I wouldn't even know what to call it. The padding, can I just say, is really, really thick and bulky inside. This is a long sleeve top and then it's got like this black sort of band all across the bottom. And then it actually has a gold zipper at the back. Or maybe that's the front. I actually don't know. I will have to refer back to the photo, but this, I have to say, is actually made of really nice quality fabric. It actually feels really heavy and I feel like it's mainly because of the shoulder pads, but the fabric feels really thick thick and it's also really stretchy so I'm really impressed with the quality and then the bottom part of the outfit is of course the cycling shorts I could have also got the gloves that Kim Kardashian is wearing but I just opted for the two-piece instead these are the cycling shorts and what they look like they actually look like they'll be pretty comfy and again it's made of that exact same fabric very stretchy and it does have a zipper at the back so this remake out of all the ones I picked out for this video is the most expensive so hopefully this probably should be be the best one out of all of them. I know I say the word expensive, but $50 in the grand scheme of things, I wouldn't say is expensive for a two piece. Like this is a whole outfit and it's pretty decent quality too. I guess let's just try it on and see if this looks anywhere near as good on me as it did on Kim K. All right guys, so here is the very first outfit and what it looks like on, I actually have to say, if I had an occasion to wear something this extra out, 
I probably would. This is so cute and I'm not even a fan of cycling shorts usually, but these fit like a glove. I mean, look at this. They fit so nicely and they're so flattering. Maybe it's the pattern. I don't know what it is, but I actually really like these. As for the top, I mean the top, let's just talk about it. It is so extra because of these massive shoulder pads. Do you know what? I'm just looking at the pattern up close and I actually feel like it's exactly the same. For some reason, I thought that it was different, but it literally is the same pattern. They've literally replicated even the pattern. I thought there must be like at least a little bit of a difference in the pattern because obviously they would probably get in trouble like literally replicating Fendi's pattern. It's exactly the same, like genuinely, I'm actually shook. I mean, I kind of wish that I got the gloves as well because I feel like it would complete the outfit, but at the end of the day, I'm fine without the gloves too. I have to say, I'm really impressed with this outfit. The fabric feels great on my skin. The whole outfit does not feel ill-fitted in any way, shape or form. It fits perfectly, like the top fits perfectly. The shorts feel really, really nice and flattering. I'm genuinely so surprised. I need to wear this outfit somewhere because it literally looks exactly like the original. On the scale of how close this outfit is to the original, I think it's a 10. All right guys, the next item is actually a top. I I've recently seen Kim K as well as Kylie Jenner wear the same top on Instagram and I actually really really liked it. It was very different and I really liked the pattern. I don't know who the designer was but I really liked the pattern. So this is the little remake that I saw on AliExpress. Um, it's a little bit confusing because I mean this is what it looks like. Obviously once I have it on I'll probably figure it out but basically it's just a crossover kind of top. I guess it sits like this. It's gonna be quite hard to show you guys what it looks like until I put it on, but the quality feels nice. It doesn't look like it will be see-through, which is great. And this was only $9. So to be honest, if this is a decent top, I would be very, very surprised. The fabric feels really nice and stretchy. Um, there's no like loose threads or anything. So the make is pretty decent. The price is really good. So I guess let's try it on and hopefully it'll fit me. All right guys, and this is the top and what it looks like on. I'm actually really impressed. I mean, I feel like in the photo of Kim, she's almost wearing like a little corset over this top. So I don't know. I absolutely love the look of the top. I feel like it just looks really elegant and different and unique. I haven't really seen tops like this before. Also love the pattern. Obviously with this top again, you can't really wear a bra. You have to wear either like sticky cups or nipple covers. However, I do think it's a really flattering shape. It kind of just like cinches and snatches you in. It is very, very comfortable on. The fabric feels really nice and soft. And honestly, I can't really say anything bad about it apart from um, the fact that this area right here definitely needs a little bit more filling. <laughs> I mean, for someone with a slightly bigger chest, I don't think this would have been an issue, but for me, it is a little bit loose around the edges, so I might have to just kind of like take it in a little bit. However, apart from that, it is very comfortable, it's very flattering, and I really, really like it. I think this looks really similar to the one that Kim was wearing. However, obviously, I think she had like a little corset as well. So out of 10 on the similarity factor, I think I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. 10. Okay, this next outfit I have seen Kim Kardashian wear on her Instagram and it is this one here and basically it's just like a little black dress. I really, really like the look of it because it kind of looks like a two-piece but it isn't. So when I saw it on the AliExpress website, I just knew I had to get it because I actually see myself wearing something like this. Like it's actually something that I could wear in my day-to-day -day life. Probably not at this time of year but once it gets hotter in the summer, I probably would wear this. So this is the replica. Um, it's gonna be quite hard again to show you guys because it is super black, but essentially it's got the middle sort of tied effect. The actual like bra area has padding in it, which is really nice and it's quite thick too. I feel like this is the kind of dress that you'd wanna wear without a bra so that you don't see like, you know, your bra behind this tie thing. So it is really good that they've put the cups inside to keep you supported. Then of course it has the sleeve, which I think is like a off the shoulder kind of sleeve or maybe you could like 
just kind of slide it over your shoulder a little bit. And then this is how short the dress is. It is kind of short, but I really like the button effect as well. Now, what I really like about this dress is the fact that it actually came with a little pair of shorts. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love the look of dresses, but I often choose against them. If I'm going out in the summer and I have the choice of wearing like denim shorts or a dress, I usually opt for the shorts because it's just way more comfortable. I feel like I'm not gonna have like an accident when my dress flies up and everyone will see everything. However, I love wearing dresses. So I feel like when a dress comes with a pair of shorts, that is pretty handy. This dress was actually $27, which again, I mean, this is kind of a simple dress in the grand scheme of things, but if it fits nicely, I feel like the quality of the fabric really justifies the price. So I guess let's just try this little number on and see how it looks. Okay guys, I can't lie. As soon as I put this on, I really liked the outfit. However, it is a little bit loose around like this area here, which means that this whole area is kind of sliding down as I go and it's kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. I've literally tightened the cup area with this like tie thing as much as I possibly could and it's still really loose. I feel like if I stopped pulling this up constantly, it would literally just fall down throughout the day and that would not be good. Also, I didn't realize this as I was kind of looking at the photo of Kim, but this dress is literally essential to have the shorts underneath because if you don't, you literally have this massive exposed gap where your crotch is. It's kind of made in a way that makes it obvious that it's a two piece. Obviously this part here is still the dress, but without the shorts, it would just be way too much on show. So with the shorts underneath, it kind of makes it look like a bit more of a play suit slash romper situation. I really like the look of it and I love the shape and I love how it looked on Kim. However, this remake is not it. To me, it's just a little bit loose. I wish it was tighter. I wish you could make it tighter by adjusting this, but unfortunately you can't. So although this looks exactly like Kim's outfit, I'm gonna have to give this a lower rating just because of the fact that it doesn't fit. I think out of 10, I'm gonna give this like a five. The five is for the fact that it literally resembles Kim's outfit, but I couldn't give it the full 10 because it keeps sliding down and that is very annoying. Okay, this next item I have to try out for you guys is this outfit right here that Kim is wearing it is absolutely gorgeous it's kind of simple but at the same time I just really liked it it was only eight dollars so that is pretty cool it's basically just like a little two-piece it's got a crop top with like this cutout across the chest and then the skirt also has a little cutout on the hip I just thought it was quite interesting again I don't know who the original designer was of this but AliExpress came through they made an exact replica of that outfit and to be honest, it looks kind of decent. So this is the top. As you guys can see, it's got that cut out and for once, I actually feel like this little bando area will actually fit my chest, which is pretty cool. A lot of the time when I get clothing like this that have like a cut out around the chest area, I find that it's either like too low or too high and then your boobs are literally in the cutout, so that's not great. However, this one seems to be positioned in a pretty good spot, so I'm really excited for that. And then the skirt looks like this. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about the skirt, guys, because the slit is actually a lot bigger than it was in the photo. I mean, my whole hip is gonna be exposed. I guess we'll see how that looks on, so let's chuck this on and see how it fits. Okay guys, so here is the next outfit. What are we thinking? I actually feel like I kind of look like I'm naked in this outfit at first glance. It is so similar to my skin color. It's actually kind of crazy. Let's just dissect this outfit one by one. First things first, the top. The top actually fits my boob area and I'm wearing a bra underneath. So I'm pretty impressed. The cutout is really nicely placed. I wouldn't say it's too revealing. I would say it's literally just about right. If it was any bigger, I probably wouldn't have liked it, but I really like the quality of the top. It feels nice on my skin. It feels really breathable and it's very cozy. The skirt, this is the skirt. 
and what it looks like on. Hasha was really worried about this cutout right here, but actually it's placed in such a way that doesn't really interfere with like your underwear or anything, especially if you're wearing it quite high-waisted like I am, it's kind of just like this top part of where your kidney is. All I'm gonna say is your kidney is definitely gonna get very cold in this outfit. As a whole, I would say this outfit is literally again a 10 out of 10 when it comes to replicating Kim's original outfit. I think it looks exactly the same. It is really flattering on, it's not see-through or anything, so I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. All right, the next outfit is actually a really interesting one. I'm just looking at the photo of Kim wearing it and it's basically kind of like a relaxed two-piece. I'll pop the photo on screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but it's called the Grey Stretchy Snug Outfit. It says it's a ruched skirt set, summer two-piece. At first when I looked at the photo, I was really confused whether she was wearing like really loose joggers or whether that was a skirt, but I'm pretty sure it actually is a maxi skirt. So this is what the replica looks like. Let's take a look at the top first. Okay, it looks pretty decent actually. I really like the neckline. It's not like a high neck, but it's kind of just like a straight neck. I'm a little bit confused as to why it's not even. Like why is there like a asymmetrical kind of vibe to it. Let me just take a look at the photo because I'm a bit confused. Oh, so basically in the photo, I can see that she's kind of tied it like right here into a little knot. So that's really cool. I'm gonna do that as well. And then the skirt looks like this. And you know what? They've actually done such a good job at replicating it exactly. I mean, look at the stitching. Even the stitching is on point on the skirt. However, there is a lot of excess fabric here, so I'm a bit worried that it might not look too great on. The skirt looks like it will go all the way down to the ground, hopefully. So let's pop this on and hopefully it'll look as good on me as it did on Kim. <laughs> all right guys, this one I really, really like. I can totally see myself wearing something like this in the summer on holiday or something like that. I really love how cozy and comfortable this is. It's really easy to wear. And I love the fact that it's a whole outfit. You really don't have to put any effort into like styling this because because it's ready to go. I just tied it at the side just like Kim did and I really like the top. The top is really nice and flattering. Even if I don't wear the skirt, I would definitely keep the top. The skirt I really like, however, I do think that this area here makes it just a tad unflattering on my body. It's almost like it accentuates my little food baby that I've got going on, which I don't particularly like. However, I do like the fact that it's like paneled on the side. That I really like and I think it looks really nice from the back as well. Also the length of the skirt doesn't actually go all the way down to the floor. It kind of just hits my ankle but I actually prefer that. I feel like because I'm quite short ankle length skirts definitely work better for me than like full maxi skirts. Just because it kind of cuts my legs off whereas this you can still see some skin and then you can obviously show off some nice sandals or something. In general I really really like this outfit. I think it looks exactly like Kim's and it fits really nice for the most part so I'm gonna give this a nice out of 10. All right, and this very last outfit I'm trying out for you guys is actually something that isn't really my cup of tea. This is the photo of Kim wearing the last outfit. And although it looks amazing on her, I don't think I would ever choose it for myself just because I literally never wear green. It's just so green, isn't it? Like, it's a very green outfit. Anyways, I saw the remake on AliExpress and because it was just such an interesting piece, I had to get it to try it out for you guys. And here it is. I've got to say, I am actually impressed. As I've said, although it's not to my taste, I can definitely still appreciate how like pretty it is and how interesting it is. So the dress actually has two red straps which are adjustable, but the strap doesn't feel like really cheap. It actually has a bit of stretch to it as well. The actual cup of the dress, the bottom of it kind of has like this satin fabric and then the top part of the cup is this golden meshed kind of fabric that's see-through. I actually really like that. I think that's really interesting. Hopefully it won't be too exposing. Then on the side of the dress, we have this long golden kind of strip. 
across the side on both sides. And as you guys can see, the dress actually has a bit of shape to it already, like even before you put it on, which I always like. I just feel like it really helps to cinch it in at the waist when, you know, it doesn't just go straight down, it actually has that curve in it. This dress does have a working zip on the back, which is great. And let me just check how much this was. This was $25. Again, I feel like this is actually a really good quality dress for $25. And considering this is a remake of a dress that was probably worth thousands of pounds, I feel like this is pretty good. As I've said, this dress isn't really my cup of tea visually. However, I'm actually kind of keen to see how the shape of it will look on. So who knows? I might actually end up liking it. Let's try it on. All right, and this is the very last dress. And for obvious reasons, I was not able to wear a bra because you would literally see the bra strap right in the middle. I think with this dress, either you just go full commando or you get the little like nipple covers underneath. This is what the dress looks like from the back and from the side. I actually really like it. I'm not gonna lie. I like the shape. I don't love the color, but if this was another color, I would have liked it. I really like the cups. However, they don't have any underwire and they are a little bit too small for me. So there is literally no support. But apart from that, I would say this is a really Pretty nice dress. I like the design and I love the shape and how it fits but the color is a no from me. Out of 10, I do think it looks exactly like Kim's dress though, so I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. All right guys, so that is everything for today's video and all the dresses and outfits I'm trying on that are remakes of Kim Kardashian's wardrobe. I hope you guys enjoyed this and just got to see what you can get on AliExpress. I know that it can be a hit or miss on AliExpress. I myself, I'm pretty new to shopping on AliExpress to be honest, but from what I've seen so far and the clothing that I've tried, I'm actually really, really surprised. Everything's been affordable. Everything has like come in pretty good time and everything is just really decent quality. Let's just say I've definitely tried out some online retailers and online websites and the quality was way worse than this. Let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see more of these videos. Let me know what celebrity like dress remakes or clothing remakes you would like me to try out next. I had so much fun trying out these items although they're not really the type of items I would probably wear in my day to day life or ever have an occasion to wear. I still really enjoy like just dressing up at home and just, you know, filming it for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below. Be sure to come and join the Dinosaur family by subscribing down below. If you would like to follow me on any of my social media, I'm at Roxaurus on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, uh, what else? Uh, Discord and also Twitch most recently. I'm Roxaurus14. I've been streaming a few times a week, every week for like the last two weeks now. So if you guys want to hang out with me live ever, then make sure you guys come over on Twitch. Also, don't forget to keep an eye out for the 29th of January. Something huge is coming. I can't wait to share it with you guys. But anyways, that is all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are all well and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.